Hasu, it's me, the captain, and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk a bit about, wait for it, you won't believe it, girlish number. Seriously, this show was great. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a nice ride and I would like to get another season of it. And it's basically this so show was so savage. It was clearly that Wataru Watari, the writer of the novels of Girlish Number, and also the creator of the story, was well. He did it. He really, really did it. This was. Such a nice criticism on the entire business of voice acting in the anime industry or gaming industry. And most of the people in this show, they were assholes. These kind of people you wouldn't like to hang out with. Because they are fake people, they are assholes, they have so many problems with their personalities that you were like, uh, don't want to. But in the end, they felt so much more like real people, how people are going around and saying stuff and thinking the complete opposite or just saying nice empty words to someone, it felt so real and this is basically what this show, what, what made this show so good. It's not that the plot was amazing, I mean it's cute girls doing voice acting and dancing and singing in the anime industry and stage events. And going out to drink and that's basically it but there is so much more to the characters how shitty they are how shitty everyone is in this series be it the main characters be it the producers the other staff members help Everyone is a complete idiot. And this was amazing. It was like, how can I say it? Like, Oregairu without the drama component. Yeah, that would be it. Just showing how it is and how... It is totally not what you would think it is. Oh boy, I would laugh if they would pull something like this off with Love Life or any other cute, lovely, idle show. I mean, come on, we've got enough of Love Life, Love Life, the second season, the movie, the other Love Life, Sunrise, Sunset, whatever it was called. It was, yeah, I have enough of that. The, I want to be an idol. Uh, why? I don't know. I just want to be one. Okay, seriously, why? Yeah, I, I don't know. Just because, yeah, I don't know. Hell, if someone would say, I want to make money with it, it would be a better reason for them to become an idol compared to the the school is closing. Why? We have not enough stunts. Okay, see ya, bye bye. So yeah, it's basically the entertaining and grown up or less grown up and more cruel or satiric or sarcastic version of basically every idle and voice acting focused story. And it is just great. 
Walter Ruvateri is an amazing writer and I really enjoy his, well, slightly famous title Oregairu or Yahari Orega Seishun Snafu, whatever this long title. And yes, it's he is a great writer and I really, really hope that we will get the novels of Girlish Number. Yempress or Vertical or Jane of the Club. Please do it. Please do it. Come on. I want you... I know you want it. You know you want it. Everyone knows you want it. Just do it, please. Because we need more stuff like this. Less story focused or more slice of life-ish satiric evil stories like this. And yeah, it's basically like this and there's another reason why you should watch Girlish Number. If you want to collect reaction faces, watch it. There are so many facial expressions in this series. It's it's great, seriously. I have collected around 500-ish screenshots of this show. I don't even know how I pulled it off, but I somehow did it. Oh boy, that's strange. Anyways, it was a great show. I would love to get another season of it, but I don't really think we will get one. So I just have to wait for something like this or the third season of Origairu. Whenever we will hope to get this one. So yeah, that's it for now and I'm going to finish Hibike Euphonium, which was kinda, yeah, a letdown. But I will make a video on it. I also make a blog post about Hibike and why I didn't like it as much as the first season. So, see ya, adios.